Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and we're still stuck with the standard definition camera for at least another month or two. Uh, but by the new year, we'll be back in high definition and widescreen. However, today, so that's why you see me as like a little square inside this huge video thing, because, um, you know, why draw attention to the video flaws as well as the fact that I haven't shaved and have like a little hair sticking out that I just can't quite seem to get down <laughs> how much I try but I I think this video that I'm making right now is long overdue um, and I basically uh, well I'm ticked off enough about it now to finally make a video about it like it's just kind of one of those things where you almost need the passion so as you can see up here or up here I don't exactly know where it's going to be. Um, I was going to drop off a delivery. Uh, now, I want to have a disclaimer. Most of the time, I block out addresses for very, very, very practical and logical reasons. You do not want to be giving out customers' personal information. However, the addresses that you see on this screenshot belong to a car wash and a double tree hotel um i have simply blocked out the name of the customer and uh i've also blocked out the uh apartment number so that i mean she, she by the time you watch this she probably won't even still be there but just on the off chance i don't want anyone going and doing vigilanteism but the question that this video is going to aim to answer is what do you do when someone gives you the wrong address on DoorDash and as you can see from the screenshot and I'm looking if I'm looking down because I'm looking at on my phone there are there is an address it is 2075 South Harbor Boulevard underneath it it says 100 the city drive room blank and then it says Anaheim uh, so here's the thing technically she gave me two addresses um, these are both streets in Anaheim, it is true. However, uh, well, she, uh, she gave me two addresses. That's the bottom line. And the app will always go with the first address, the main address, if there's conflicting addresses. So I went to 2075 South Harbor Boulevard, and I wound up at the car wash. I don't know why you would have DoorDash over to car wash, but you know, I guess that's not my, for me to say. And of course, when she wasn't there, or in fact that no one was there, I pressed the customer not available button. And she called me right away and asked if I was at the Doubletree Hotel. I was not. And in fact, the, you know, the Doubletree Hotel wasn't even anywhere near this address. Now, this is not the first time that I've had an incorrect address. And basically, the way you handle it, it I think it handles on a case-by-case -case basis. Like, for example, one time someone gave me an address, and when I called them, they realized it was their work address. They were at home. They were about 2.5 miles away. I just decided to take it. They were nice. They were apologetic. They even gave me an extra tip. And, you know, I kind of told them, yeah, well, you know, just let you know, be careful because this is what we can do. And I'll tell you what we can do. Then there was another person who, uh, you know, got the city wrong. And, uh, well, actually, it wasn't even the person. It was the restaurant. DoorDash sent me to the wrong restaurant. So because the food was not going to be cold, I, um, I accepted it. I mean, in retrospect, I did not make any money on that delivery. However... All the good deliveries I got right afterwards leads me to believe that, you know, I probably made more money by accepting it, but that's never a guarantee. And in this case, she was like 10 miles away from the original address. And for the record, it would have been 10 or 12 miles to get to her place, even if she hadn't given me the original address or gotten this conflict, this conflicting address, because it was on the way. But there was just no way I could do that. Um, like, basically, it's like, no, I'm not making money from that. 
And on top of that, the food's going to be cold. And I contacted DoorDash Dasher support to let them know what's going on, but let me tell you what Dasher support is going to do every single time. They're going to ask you if you can still take the, de the delivery, and they will offer you $2.50 compensation if you bug them about it. They will never volunteer that. But if you bug them about it, they will give you $2.50. And in this case, that would not have cut it. It really would not have cut it. So here's officially what you can do. If you go to the address that's on the app and they're not there, you press the customer not available button and you wait the timer out. And if they do not show up by the time the timer is up, press the delivery unsuccessful button, keep the food, keep your money, move on. Uh, but again, this is kind of a sketchy, uh, sketchy area. Um, because I think if you want to be a good dasher, if you want to show good customer service, if they're not that far off from the original address, I would honestly just take it. In fact, it, uh, some, some people might say, oh, but I get free food. And if it's only a couple miles away, it'll be faster to just deliver it. Um, you know, and even and if you're apologetic, even though you didn't do anything wrong, they might still give you a little extra for going the extra mile. In fact, another example that I just remembered, someone ordered some food and uh, they realized they had given me the wrong address. So they called me told me what the correct address was, and it wasn't too far off, but it was a little distant, so I said, well, okay, I could take it to you, it'll be a little longer, but like, that's fine. And they gave me like an additional $5 tip, and they tipped on the app, so they were really apologetic. I think in most cases, it's worth it to just, you know, be polite and, you know, take the food delivery. In this case, it was not. In this case, there was no winning for me unless they gave me an additional $10. There and that would that would be to break even. It was just way too far, and yeah. So officially, the protocol for this is: if you get to the address and they're not there, you can simply wait the timer out. I would recommend, with every situation though, just at least trying to work with the customer if it's not unreasonable. If it's I'd say less than five miles away from your current destination, and it's not a rush hour traffic time of the day. I think most of the time it's just worth it to just, you know, take it there. They will usually be appreciative. Um, but if it's eight, if it's more than five miles and stuff like that, I and it's like a less than twenty dollar order like this was. I I, I don't think. It's really worth your time. Dasher support will give you the same answer all the time. Like after they've looked up the order and stuff, I don't know what they're looking for. And like you give them the, you pretty much tell them, hey, uh, this is a situation. They're not there. I don't know why they still have to look up the order at that point, but you know they're going to tell you the same thing every time. Can you take the dash? And if you pester them, they'll give you two dollars and fifty cents extra as compensation. But sometimes that's not worth it. So uh, that's. Uh, and that's that. And if the customer's really nice and apologetic, you know, like I said, you kind of use your own judgment here. Officially, you can just wait out the clock. But sometimes it's worth it to um, to just go the extra mile, so to speak. And that's another reason why I didn't do this one, aside from the fact that the extra mile was an extra 10 miles and it was like 30 to 40 minutes extra of my time. But the lady wasn't even really nice about it. She started demanding a full refund of the food. She started demanding this. She started being mean to me. She called me a moron. Uh, at that point, I hung up the phone. At that point, I was just going to wait out the time. Once the uh, time went out, I, uh, you know, pressed delivery and successful. Now, here's the thing. I got three phone calls after that. I thought it was from the lady, but judging by the discrepancy between a couple numbers, that might have been DoorDash itself. So if anyone from DoorDash is watching this, I'm sorry about that. Um, I just, I thought it was the lady. I did not want to be chewed out anymore. But in that case, here's the thing officially. 
if you do not have an active order on your phone, you do not need to pick up the phone. You are not on an order. There's nothing to sort out. Um, the previous order, you follow, as long as you followed protocol, then guess what? The delivery was not successful. It just wasn't. So you move on. And even if I know, even if it was DoorDash calling me, they would have asked me the same thing. Can you take the order anyway? And we'll give you extra compensation. And the answer at that point would have been no. In fact, even if they had offered me $15 extra, the answer would have been no because the lady was rude and she was verbally abusive. And once a customer gets verbally abusive with you over the phone, safety-wise, you have every reason to not take the delivery. Every reason. When the delivery is over, you do not need to talk to the customer anymore. That's what Dasher support is for. So, don't, don't do that. Uh, personal opinion. And now I'm going to just, as a side note, officially the driver part of the video is over. But to the customers, I want to tell you this. The drivers do not know why the address is wrong sometimes. Whether it was something on your part or... DoorDash as a larger thing, but it does not benefit the drivers to go to an incorrect address. If they go to an incorrect address because it's wrong, for whatever reason, and you don't have to believe it's your fault that the address is wrong, but if they went to a different address, keep in mind, we are not employees. We don't work for DoorDash. We are, like, we own little self-employed businesses. And if you start cursing us out or being rude to us or start making demands on us, guess what? We will be less inclined to help you. And we are totally within our right not to help you. Because from our perspective and from our rule book, what you see, whatever side, maybe I'll just put this screen in the center. Um, <laughs> when you see this address or when we see this address and we go there, we have picked up the food and we've brought it to the address we were told to go. We have fulfilled our end of the agreement. And if you are not there, we have every right to cancel it and collect our money and you don't get squat back. Do not ever treat the dasher with disrespect. Be as nice as you can. Offer a couple extra bucks for the inconvenience. Be nice. Because we are told we have way more power than you realize to say no. And it doesn't matter if you don't think you put the wrong address when you ordered the food. Guess what? It was the wrong address. And we went there. And you weren't there. And that gives us every right to keep the food and the money. So, just saying that. So, anyway, what about all of you folks? Have you ever had this happen where you got the wrong address or whatever tell me your story i'd like to know in the comment section below like favorite share subscribe and as always flame responsibly have a good one